and we're back. Hi. Hi. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I have a feeling that I can win. Let's see if I'm right. <laughs> no. <laughs> I say no. <laughs> Oh yeah, only with one pull, come on. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go, Flaffy! Really? Why are you... Wait, you're level 34? Flaffy? What? Aw, Electro Sheep Chat. What? Should have evolved to the final form? Yeah, by now. Yeah, should have evolved They like... wanted to learn more moves. Maybe they really like the pink and the fluffy. Probably. Because... But... Ampros sort of lacks the obvious fluff. <coughs> yeah, unfortunately it loses Until it gets L'Oreal. Oh my god. Because she's worth it. <laughs> In the Mega Evolution, yeah. Uh. Clean the deck, and you're done. Yeah. Mm. What should we bring up? I don't know, I don't see Jinx as the... Aw, you're too strong. I don't think she'd like the Mega Evolution. I mean... No. Fucking mom. Hi. Don't worry. <laughs> like, yeah, mom. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> kind of creepy, but okay. There's been news on the incident at the power plant. That was old news. I fixed it. You news fucked. doesn't travel very fast in this world. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. Or very fast, depending on you. Sometimes news isn't always bad news. Yeah. I fixed it. Why do you have a little... Oh my... Oh yeah, that's right. I know why. Failure. <laughs> Were you supposed to fight him earlier? No. There's a reason. I'm like, okay. I thought that was... He only had one. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? What the hell? Oh, he's got another one. Okay. Oh. Wow. Pidgey to Pidgey. I'm thinking out low level. No problem. Wow. Holy right fuck. <laughs> 34. He's one. using L'Oreal. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it's worth it. <laughs> No, because you're worth it. it. Yeah. So I think this guy might be simply doing the level up strategy that I usually use. Level one big guy up until later on? Well, I guess normally the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to put out that Pokemon and immediately recall it for your <sighs> actual one. Yeah. Yeah. What? So essentially what he's doing it wrong. Yeah. 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 You're a bad trainer! Dude, like, all the trainers in here are like, ugh. It's like, no wonder Dang. it's so hard for people to become champions. I've lost it. That's, That's too bad. Too. Yeah. I mean, it's like we're the only competent people in this entire world. I don't know, Shan seems pretty competent. Yeah. He was just a whiny bitch. He's <laughs> just a whiny little bitch. <laughs> Hell, why else would... It might actually be the case that... Your oh, rival God. is the only other competent ca characters in the game. I mean... Um, I... That's it. I mean, seriously, the... You you just started your Pokemon journey and you defeated an entire organization of evil Pokemon traders. Yeah. Bert looks weird. They've been planning this for years. And then all of nowhere, this little kid comes out and just destroys the, the, everyone on this way. Not, not really, even, not even, sometimes not even try. But when you Only if they had Magnemites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the time. But when you think about it, if they had an actual team, they, they'd be pretty devastated. It's if they didn't stick to like the six basic Pokemon that you know how to counter us because you've dealt with them in like, like, routes and in caves before you fought him. That was actually one thing I saw where it's like Team Rocket normally gets rid of Pokemon they consider useless. So and it's like they have nothing but Golbat or not Golbat, Zubats, Weezings, Coughings, co sorry, Coughings, Arbox. and Arbox. So it's Ekans, like, sorry. Ekans, yeah. We don't I don't get backwards. That's family. But at the same time it's like Yeah, it's like they have all the basic Pokemon. Why not get some better ones, you know? You know, like your team is implied to have. Yeah. Oh, uh, ellipses. But also, it's like, it also continues on, not in this generation, even in further generations, you get the same, um, they're like, oh, we got the standard Pokemon. I'm like, okay, my team can counter that. Can you get something that can counter my team? Nope. Probably <sighs> HP up. I mean, the only thing they have going for them is that there's more of them. Yeah, but that's it. Other than that, it's utterly pointless. Oh. We're back here. 
Back where? I don't know where I am. Uh, Misty's area. Oh, okay. Back to the place that is the thing. Yeah, so I'm like, okay. Oh. And now we're back to Palace Town. <laughs> I was wondering where that slow over went. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm going down round two. There you go. <laughs> like I said earlier. You walk in tall grass. Short and shorts. You're gonna get Nixon cuts. Okay then. Yeah. Oh, he's a bug. But I like shorts. They're easy and comfy to wear. Oh wow, Pedro. Hey, you actually evolve your Pokemon. I'm impressed. Now die. <laughs> Fight it. I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm, yeah. Mmm, tastes like honey. You know? No, that's cold meat. That's cold meat. <laughs> yeah, you're they right. They don't exist yet. <laughs> um, oh. But yeah, like, if I did the- if I did these dexes the way I'm supposed to- Oh my god. They would have gone off the screen. Yeah, I think I saw that prototype you had in our yeah. Dropbox thing. I was like, oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was I gonna- um, It doesn't matter they all have, like, different percentages. Bug types. Like, like the only one I could have left would have been, like, Caterpie- Or, like, the two bug families and Pikachu. <laughs> um... Uh, so anyway, uh, I think we discussed this, like, uh, what do you, what do you think bug type? No, I could be wrong, I believe bug type, it could be really strong type. But if you had a favorite bug type, what, what, what kind of favorite bug do you like? Uh, Aircross seems pretty cool. Yeah. Um, what about you, Christy? Ooh, that's a tricky one. Pinsir's also good. Yeah. And again, they both have Mega Evolution, so maybe I'm biased. <laughs> yeah, we uh, move Mega Evolution out of it. Probably Pinsir. Yeah. Well, this is... This is just coming off the top of my head, and it may seem a little odd. No, go ahead. I kind of like, um... Both... Um... I, I like both of the... What's Describe it. it. <laughs> Describe it. I like both of the possible evolutions of Arcada. Arcada. Um, what's it? Ninjisk and Shed Ninja? Oh, that one. Is that the electric one? No, 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 no. You're thinking Jolting. I love that one. No, no, no. sorry. Uh, Shedinja is like the the cocoon. Oh, the that shell. thing! Yeah. yeah, the Pokemon that you can get two Pokemon if you have an empty slot in your party. Oh, when I it just, evolves. There's just something about. I'm super happy to give you a little present. A nugget. Okay then. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Just something about the idea of taking something discarded and making it its own unique creature is interesting. Something I'm not sure why they haven't done since. Maybe they were testing it and a lot of people didn't like it. Maybe it was more complicated than people thought it would they be. They could have its advantages and whatnot. Yeah. What about you, Tom? You haven't said your Pokemon yet. Uh, the, the electric bug type. Uh, Joltik. Joltik. And whatever its evolution It's second is. evolution. I'm thinking, I'm not a big fan of bug Pokemon, but I need an electric type for my black and white playthrough I, I had on my side. And I'm like, I've, is that a bug and electric? Yeah. I'm like, hmm, why not? I got it had Intimidate off the bat. I'm like, oh... I love you! Because, <laughs> you know, it, when it comes to Intimidate in a Pokemon game, it's so good. It helps out so much. Yeah, I like it when my um, my Poochenias have them. Yeah. So this is a... Uh, Vermilion City? Viridian. Viridian City, yeah. Unfortunately, we can't go to the gym right now because apparently the gym leader is not here. Jerk. Yeah, I don't know what he eats looking up something or something. So we're gonna just... Go to the Pokemon Center and um, heal up and head on out. Shannon, that's your area. Yeah. You can do the picture! We can do the Pokemon Center! We're gonna heal you! Eh. Mm, um, I didn't want to take all the Nurse Joys. <laughs> <laughs> it just sort of ended up that way. But she's so majestic with you. <laughs> what about you? Thank you you actually have the female voice! Thank you for talking my heel and get out. Oh, God. Nurse Joys been smoking too much. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ugh. Yes, how that touched my voice. <laughs> Doesn't help when I lost my I lost my voice yesterday. Uh, uh, I was, uh, but yeah, I like I like him very much. My electric bug guy. I I can't. Mm. Fuck. 
I can't remember his name. I'm really bad. The electric bug, I like. Joltik. Joltik, sorry. Joltik and his evolution. You know, jolt, like tick. electric jolt, and, uh, and, and tick. tick. I don't yeah. remember the uh, advanced version. Yeah. Uh, advanced, but like, you know, it, the evolution. It's like, it's like a, a, it looks like a, it's a spider, which I'm like, oh, spiders I'm not really a friend of. But when I got it, I'm like, dude, this guy is fast. He's like probably one of the fastest Pokemon in. I'm actually just going to look it up on my Pokemon shelf. Yeah, I go ahead. On the thing. Um, he's. He's probably one of the fastest. Shuffle like, only does one type. But I know it's an electric type in mine, so. Yeah, but he, he's when, when I got him, he's like one of the fastest Pokemon I saw in the game. Like, holy crap! Okay, no, it's not. It's a bug type, of mine. but yeah. it's a bug electric, so. Yeah, but I was really, really happy with this. Oh yeah, I show off an interesting it battle. It is Galvantula. Galvantula, that's right. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, that, that's actually a pretty awesome name. It's actually it earn, it got it's got a lot of special battle uh, cool stuff you can it can learn. It can learn like almost every electric type out there. Yep, which is awesome, and every bug type out there too. So this is the uh, train uh, Pokemon um, training building here. So like if one, new trainers want to start up soon, they can come in here and tr and um, read up some information and stuff like that. The Poke Library, pretty much, but the as, actual. Encyclopedia. <laughs> and they both battles downstairs. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go fight a certain trainer. Um, I'm gonna get myself ready because he's only got three Pokemon? They're pretty powerful for what they are. So, getting myself a little ready here. Gonna love this. Hi, right, welcome to the Pokemon Chain Hall. You may battle one trainer per day. Call is your opponent today. Would you like to battle? Yes. Please go right ahead. We get it right away. So I'm fighting myself. Okay. Literally. I traveled off here so I could no, battle it's you. Cal. Yeah, but it looks like me. Because he uses the same sprite as me. Check it out. <laughs> well then. And he's got all the all the starters in this game. And I, yeah. At level fit. I'm like, oh, what's starting with this? He guy? found a way to the short, tall grass outside of your town. Yeah. So, and to be honest with you, um, you get a good chunk of money from it, but that am amulet coin helped that a lot. <laughs> You'll see how much money I get. I'm like, whoa, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. I think we're gonna end up finding that it's secret. Secretly, the trainer is a Kadabra, and all the Pokemon are ghastly that are, torn, that are doing illusion spells. Mm, oh yeah, that's right, they did that in the Pokemon series, right? Oh, well, and Ghastly did flirt with James and Brock at the same time. <laughs> oh, that's right! <laughs> I forgot about that! Oh, that's funny. Uh, that Ghastly. Uh. Mm. Just, I wanted to see what the name... Ghost types are going to be. Birth and Yelth isn't the only Pokemon that teaches itself to talk. No, actually, that's right. That that uh, was it. The Ghastly that could talk, or was it the Haunter? There's the a lot of talk. other Pokemon that can talk, like Hoopa, Haunter the Genie Pokemon. Talk. Yeah. Also, uh, Luca Lucario can talk. The the uh, well, telekinetically, well, he has like yeah. Mewtwo. Yeah. But I mean, like actual, like moving your mouth to speak, like Meow. Like Hoopa yeah. does that. Yeah. That was just a weird movie. Was it any good? I never seen. It was okay. It's an hour. Really? Yeah, I know. That's so short for a Pokemon weak. movie. I know. Wait. And then I also want to ask, like, when did Rayquaza become a shiny? Because I remember in the Deoxys movie that was earlier in the series that that was a normal Rayquaza, but in the Hoopa movie, which is movie seventeen, it's a shiny version because it's the black and yellow. I don't kind. know. So it's like, when did that happen? Unless it like. Found a way to summon a Rayquaza from Maybe another it's Earth. Maybe the Namekian Rayquaza. Holy crap! Your Rayquaza's on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh look, Typhlosion. Oh, one of my favorite fighters. Ah, the one we didn't acknowledge. No. Oh, Cyndaquil's cute. Yeah. He's so cute in his huge fiery Yeah, no. And now it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, what was I gonna, um, damn, what else I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, oh yeah, 
Heck uh, up. The last movie, Pokemon movie, uh, I, I saw would, was yeah. The Rise of Docker was the last one I saw. That was alright. I didn't see the other ones after that. I it's s- okay. The the next two are kind of a letdown. Was that the one with the they release Arius the God? Arceus came after in the, in the third one. After that, after Dark after Darkrai? After Darkrai came the one with Giratina. Oh, that's right, yeah. And then after that was Arceus. That's which right. Which involved a lot of time travel. I saw bits and pieces of that. I was getting so fucking confused. But yeah, Hoopa... Thunder! Uh, yes! The Hoopa movie was uh, just a showcase for all the legendaries. Because, like... Really? Hoopa has two forms. There's the confined form. And the weird, like... And the unconfined form. Yeah. And they're separated in this movie due to poke bottle Leaves. magic. And... Okay. Yeah. I don't Look know. how much more... Hang on. Whoa! 10,000. <laughs> Ten thousand okay dollars. Yeah, so I'm rich right now again. Anyway, uh Isn't that like a hundred dollars and we don't know. We don't know. Moving on. Uh anyway, so like the big one is like super angry at the little one for reasons. reasons. Well, I'm not trying to spoil the entire movie, but yeah. it's like There's reasons. And so they're summoning up Pokemon to take each other down. And it's summoning an old legendary Pokemon? Yeah, so oh, like, wow. little one summons up shiny Rayquaza, Latios of Latias, to like, you know, fight. speed away from the fight. Yeah. While the big Koopa summons up Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre. Oh my god. Uh, Honestly. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember the other ones off the top of my head, because there was a lot. Uh, Dialga, Garantina, Palkia... What the fuck? Yeah, I know. And, uh... Kairurum, the ice dragon. Holy fuck. And then during the battle, like... Rayquaza, Latios, and Latios Mega Evolve. So and... Jesus Christ. Uh... Everyone's on Kairurum does its fusion with Zekrom. Oh my god. And it's like, holy shit. <laughs> so, oh yeah, this is right. And then, one. because there were so many legendary Pokemon in a single area at one time... It caused a distortion in time and space. I'm like, pretty sure that was just because Dialga and Palkia were there. Yeah, they're known for that. Fucking Alan! Oh no! Hey, <laughs> tell me, it's me, Alan! How did you battle? You <laughs> didn't repeat the last time. Round three, six, five! <laughs> Fucking asshole! Oh! So I think the more times at. I say that, I sound more and more like Mr. Meeseeks. Yeah. So guess where we're at? I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Red and blue. Holmes. Blue's house. Red's house. Green's house. What? <laughs> Alternate reality, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then Professor Oak. Oh, he's got more laughs since this. Ah, Tommy, it's good of you to come and... All this way to Kanto. Oh, no. What do you think of the trainers out there? Pretty yeah. tough, right? Oh, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that it's hard. Not really. The experience is sure to help you. Yes, it is. Come see me when you get all of them, and I'll have a gift for you. Keep trying hard, Tommy. How is your Pokedex coming? Let's see. Current Pokedex completion level is 87%. <laughs> you're good. But you have a long way to go. Oh, yeah. If you're on the area, I hope you come visit again. And with that, we are done with this episode, so we'll catch you later.